Today, we are going to be spending time with Lewis and his team at Anordain. Hello, and welcome to Anordain. We're a watchmaking company based in Glasgow. Um, today, we are 17 people enameling, watchmaking, um, design. What I realized is a lot of the watches were, were quite similar looking, not because perhaps people wanted them to look similar, but because they're all made in the, with the same process, the same techniques. And if you could take production techniques in the UK and adapt them, then you would come out with something which was at least interesting, if not good. You know, even by enameling standards, it's, it's unusual. We wanted to try and bring something new to the, to the process and bring some of the colours and, and some of the vibrancy from, from jewellery and handling and mix it all together, you get something that's really interesting. It adds a, a layer of complexity to, to the enamelling process. This is a really delicate process and one that's taken um, the guys a long time to, to kind of perfect. First, the first time we tried it, we, we got a dial that almost looked, it looked sort of 70% there in the first week. Amazing. And then it took us about three years to get the rest of the weight. So I think it's come out really nicely. Um, these, which are just, um, just beautiful, really. And here we have Nice. I'm here with uh, Ewan. Here we've got Chris. And we've got, you know, we've got 17 people here. The you know, demand has always outstripped what we can produce. I've got kind of ethos behind what we do is, is having the design process and the manufacturing in the same place. And it just means we can do it all ourselves um, instead of having to outsource. Of, of the very traditional techniques with the, the stamping and um, wood cutting, and then the very high tech kind of laser scanning. It's, it's nice if you make something that people really want, then people will talk about it and then and then people will buy it. Yeah, are there any plans for texture or enamel dials? Well, why did you start with enameling? How do you go about choosing your colors for your watches, the enamels, the inks, and the combinations? Ah. Good question. Um, that's a really good question. Yes, that would be nice, wouldn't it? I think that's everything from here. <laughs>